Hello there and welcome back. Total OS Today is total technology for beginners and beyond. Well, I am testing something new. This is Debian Linux version 8. Jesse to be released uh, sometime next year, I believe. This is the XFCE style or the XFCE desktop environment. One of the lightest desktops you will ever find uh, for any Linux operating system. I believe when you install this, I, I think this gives you a prompt for to choose which desktop environment you want to install such as GNOME, XFCE, Mate, Cinnamon. I believe there was, there was one or two more, I can't remember. I chose XFCE because I wanted to test something fast and even in a virtual machine this is running super fast. It is a beta. It may not be something you want to use every day but so far it seems okay. Let's take a look at this. Right click will give you many options here. If you go to applications, this will give you everything that is installed. Go to settings, and I changed the theme and color of this by going to appearance. And I chose Black Mate or Black Mate. I'm assuming it's Black Mate, I'm not sure. Many, many style customizations here. We'll just stick with what we have. Desktop settings. Actually, by default, this had a bottom panel. I just deleted that one, but you have background, menus, icons here. All right, from the top, toss today, username, logout screen, temperature, weather, and by the way, you can install that by right-clicking on the top panel and adding little applets. I'll show you that in a moment. Of course, the calendar, volume, internet, my screen recorder, the first, the four desktops, one, two, three, four, the applets, you right-click, and add new items and these are your choices here if you wanted weather just type in WEA and you can add the weather applet to the panel bar very nice so if you are a fan of the pre Ubuntu unity day, unity days as an example before they switch to unity you may want to consider something like this alright the home folder Again, self-explanatory. Let's see, this is running Thunar. Okay, that's fine. All right, this is Quad Libe, a music player. Let's take a look at the system monitor. Not bad, even with the recorder, this is only using about 474 megabytes of RAM. Pretty good. Okay, uh, now I modified the launcher. Normally, this would actually say across the top the top panel here applications and menu but I decided to change that by right clicking and modifying it somewhat but once again if you just left click this will give you a drop down menu is something similar to the old Windows XP again nothing fancy here XFCE was not designed to be fancy it was just designed to be as fast as possible accessories education games I really enjoy four in a row and the computer always beats me. You would think by now I could figure out a tie, but oh well, I just don't play. Hey, my game is Halo, what can I say? Anyway, moving down, we got the graphics, internet, I did install Chromium web browser. This one seems to run, the Chromium seems to run a little bit faster than the default Ice Weasel, at least in my tests, test multimedia. Oh, what did I install here? Vocal screen doesn't work too well in this version for the screen recorder. I downloaded Kazam and it seems to be okay. Office, of course, LibreOffice by default system. Uh, I installed Bleach Bit to clean up some items in the operating system. And let's see here. Let's take a look at the XFCE terminal. Now you can install uh, applications either from the Synaptic Package Manager or from the terminal. One thing that does work here that still does not appear to be working in the latest Linux Mint 17.1, some of you uh, have probably uh, seen my uploads of the problems with Kden Lie, but in this one, this has the latest cutting edge version of Kden Lie, which I believe is 0910. I tested this twice and it seems okay. The previous version of 098 still having problems in Linux Mint 17.1 Mate. Other than that, that operating system is stellar also. Also, all right, well, that's my look here. A quick look at the Debian uh, Linux uh, Jesse version 8. I do believe to be uh, 
released sometime next year. This is still a beta, so bear that in mind if you choose to install this. I ran into a couple issues, but so far, so good and super fast as always. So if you decide to take a look at this, let me know. I will have all the links below in the show notes. All right, thank you so much for watching and listening. Please don't forget to subscribe and support this channel. It's greatly appreciated. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.